Hey everyone, welcome to the Simply Learns YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to automate using Zapier AI. Want to build your own AI agent that not only reads user inputs but also responds back via Gmail? Welcome to the Zapier tutorial where you will see how simple it is to create smart automations without coding. Zapier's AI powered workflows make it easy to connect with your favorite tools and automate repetitive tasks just in minutes. You'll also explore a few pre-built AI workflows that can save hours of manual work and also learn how Zapier can help you scale your productivity with minimal effort. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified whenever we host. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself in master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills and land in your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT Guwahati, and through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all. We also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top layer data and product companies along with academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a pressure or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with Zapier AI. So Zapier AI is just like N8N and any other platforms which can help you automate your AI workflows. So without further delay, let's quickly jump into the demonstration of Zapier AI automation. So we will be automating Gmail. So we will receive some inputs from Google Forms and based on that, Zapier AI will read the input and based on that, it will send out an acknowledgement email to your client. So you cannot just uh, load all your data in a Google Sheet and mark each and every one of those and send out personal emails, right? It might be time consuming. What if you had an AI agent that does the task for you based on the inputs from the user? So for that, let's get started. So now we are on the Zapier official web page. And here you can see we have multiple workflows on the right hand side, which says popular templates. Or if you're looking for a specific template, then you can just type down some mere words, let's say like a Gmail automation or any of the ones like Telegram automation, self-learning AI agent. So I'll try to write down here, create a Gmail automation. Then it'll give me some results based on that. Or you can also go ahead with the popular templates, which are readily available here. So you can just click on browse all templates and it will navigate you to a new different web page. So here you can see uh, first one. So based on lead segments and everything else, you can also configure as a filter. And here you can see Facebook leads, right? Let's say you have done some marketing on any of the social media platforms and all the inputs from there, the user's details, you want to segregate them into a Google form or Google sheet. You can do that. And apart from that, here you can see a wide variety of uh, options. So I think here it is Google Forms to Google Mails. Let's click on it and just create or start building. So let's try it. In the same way, you can also experiment on various workflows which are readily available on Zapier. You just have to make some mild adjustments to it and you're good to go. Now here you can see it needs a few details, the orange exclamation marks, right? But before that, if you have some queries about the basics, you can watch this three minute watch video section so you can just have a quick tutorial on that but apart from that if you have a detailed briefing on how to proceed you can just continue as it is now you just click on that exclamation mark so that you have an edit option and you can also see other problems related to it so it needs to link itself to an email address and all the forms related to that particular email address so here i've already created one of the forms which takes name phone number of the customer email and also uh, the course that they're opting and everything else so here i've mentioned some of the top courses from simply now and here we have some settings you can just collect email addresses that are verified and also uh, a sheet for responses which i've already created here this will have a track of all the responses that we received through the form it will have the timestamp name etc and now you need to configure this particular google form by logging in into your account so here you can see 
the account detail is vacant. So for that, you might have to connect to the email address that you're currently working on. You just have to click on sign in and I'll quickly sign into my email address that I'm currently logged in with Zapier. So that's the email ID I've used to log into Zapier. I'm currently working on it. Now here you've got another option which says uh, from new response or updated response. Based on that, you can choose if a new row has been appended to your sheet of form, you can go ahead with that or a new response, whichever you, whenever you get received from the users. So I'll choose to go with the default one. Now the next one is to configure your Google form. So you need to specify the name of the form that you're working with. So I'm using the customer feedback form that I've recently created. You just need to select it. And once done, you need to continue to the next stage where you can just quickly test it. So your trigger is working fine, which is the Google form. The second part of this particular workflow is the Gmail. So you can see a green uh, tick button or check button, which says everything is fine in this particular automation. The next step is, uh, you can still see that uh, orange exclamation, right? You need to configure the email part, which is the send email trigger. So first the setup part and the app you're using is Gmail, which will be default. And the action will be sending an email. And you need to again sign in here to provide your email address, the sender, right? So you just need to sign in so that your Gmail has the access. I've signed in and all the permissions that are basically needed for this particular trigger to work, that's fine. Now the next part is configuration. So here you need to add the uh, data columns which will have the recipient's email address. So on the form, it is mentioned as email. So you can see uh, slash, right? So before that, let's say I want to write uh, the email address manually. Again, how is it different from the manual task which I earlier had? But if I want to automate it, you need to make sure that your AI can read this particular email address which your user has provided. So when you write down a forward slash option there or a button when you strike on that, you have a various set of options provided to you by CPA. So this is the uh, entry from the user which records his or her email address. So once that particular email address is added, you might want to choose some CCs or BCCs, right? The carbon copy or blind carbon copy, which you might want to have a look at, right? So you can either configure that or you can choose to ignore. But again, the next part is the subject, main subject of an email, the body, right? So before the body starts. So you can choose to provide anything uh, like uh, thanks for uh, choosing with us or thanks for reaching out or acknowledgement from Simply Learn, something like that. Thanks for reaching out to Simply Learn. And this is the main body where I will be writing some details. So let's say some person XYZ reached out. I don't want to write the whole name. So I'll use the forward slash and the name so that automatically it will be replicated to n number of users. And now a custom message from my end. Thanks for reaching out to Simply Learn or something like that, which is similar to the subject. Thanks for connecting with us. And you can also choose to mention the course name that they have opted. Uh, we will schedule an appointment. So the message will be, we will schedule an appointment with our experts to assist you with the course that you have opted. So the same option, forward slash, and select the course that they have provided to you. That's the one. Just click or you can also choose the tab option and done. And now the closing part, thanks and regards from Simply. So that would be my total email body and the subject and now i'll quickly test and if there are any errors it will let me know and also we have a small preview window there if you want to expand you can also choose to expand the button which is right next to the send email option over there but anyways i'm happy with this particular window here so i can see the two email address is not being extracted for some reason so uh, let's check the errors and warnings for what reason is it not taking any uh i think i did not uh, write any input so far so let me quickly switch to another email address and now i've written some entries so let us check the workflow once again no it did not extract the email address yet so maybe there is a small issue which can be resolvable if we just go back to the configuration button and uh, try to refresh everything it should be working same issue okay i think it did not even take the from address as well my email address that was supposed to be let's try to refresh or check all the configurations once and that's the to address which is fine send message to google contacts that's fine 
okay there was some redundancy which we have to ex extract okay that's fine and again let me try it once more could also be a slight network issue from uh, zapier that's the from email address yeah i think i forgot that that should be the problem and everything remains to be seen fine i think uh, that was resolved once i refreshed the whole workflow so let's quickly publish and check the email address the one which i have sent i'll refresh the email as well so my email has been successfully refreshed i have received the google form which i had entered now i should also be receiving an email yeah that's the email perfect zero minutes ago hi thanks for reaching out to simply learn for a program on ai and machine learning i searched and uh, yeah, your appointment will be scheduled and we have a small signature over there information contained will be confidential which is by default i did not enter anything about this so yeah zapier AI was confident enough to go with that particular choice and so far so good you can just quickly save this workflow and in case if you want to edit you can also go ahead with the edit option over there to have some more options for your workflow that's how simple it is to build an automation in Zapier. Completely similar as well as easier than other platforms. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on Zapier tutorial for beginners. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that are being used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.